different backdrop on vacation, but we did get a big scoop between myself and Tim Kuhn of ESPN. We actually acquired the terms that the city of Oakland is presenting to the A's in Tuesday's meeting, which is coming up. Now, Sacramento, obviously a factor here too. There's a lot of pressure, there's a lot of negotiations, but it's really interesting to see what Oakland has laid out. Now, I'm gonna go through these terms real quick for you so you can see what they are. I'll try to explain them really quickly, and then we'll just move on. So the city is offering the A's a five-year lease extension with an opt-out at the third year. That's important because they believe that Las Vegas will be ready in 2028. If that's the case, they'll only need three years, but a backup plan allowing them to pursue 28 and 29, even to 30 if they have to, will be a big deal for the A's if things hit a snag. Oakland wants a $97 million extension fee. That's about $19.4 million per year. If they opt out, we'll have to see what happens to that fee. That's why it's called a negotiation. They're gonna have to assume the cost to transition the field if they're sharing the facility with the Oakland Roots. Remember when the A's and Raiders both played there, they obviously had to switch the field back from baseball to football. It's gonna be the same way for soccer. And they want 50% of the Coliseum stake, the county's half that the A's now have control over, to be sold so that the city can once again do something with that Coliseum site. So the biggest piece of information is a one year exclusivity window on an expansion team. And the reason they're saying that is because they know they have buyers lined up ready to go. And I'm not even just talking about Warriors owner Joe Lacob. There are people ready to keep baseball in Oakland if they're given a chance. Right now they have no chance because the team just simply isn't for sale. Or they wanna keep the A's name and colors in Oakland, or they want another group to be able to facilitate a sale. So that's a big choice. It's not all now, it's a three-pronged situation where they can choose one or the other or the other. But if the A's do end up moving to Las Vegas, I actually think keeping the A's name and colors here makes a lot of sense because people in Vegas don't care about the A's name and colors. So again, Tuesday, there's gonna be a big meeting. This actually checks a lot of boxes for the A's, for the Major League Baseball Players Association. They get to stay in a Major League Park. They don't have to go play in a Minor League Park. And the A's get to keep the entirety of their TV contract, which is $70 million per year. So that starts to make the 97 million in total not seem so big, does it? If they go to Sacramento, they lose that $70 million a year. So there is a lot going on. So much so that I'm having to update things while on vacation, but I never sleep. We're gonna keep going. Don't forget to like and subscribe.